Shalom, shalom, shalom. So you can see everybody's talking and happy. You know, just school opened up here at the college. And everybody's happy, man. Going about their business, you know. You know, our people have no clue. And these are jakes, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, jakes. But, you know, they got aspirations. Um, future lawyers, doctors. This is what you go to school for. This is what, uh, you know, you go to college for. And, um, you know, the reason why I'm making this is because we, when I say we, I'm talking about sincere brothers, sincere brothers in the truth. We, we have been given the vision and the eye salve to see the impending danger that's coming to this place called Babylon. And when you see everybody else sleep, you know, not knowing what's coming, going about their day, continuing their life, you know, in this place, Babylon the Great. Somewhat, it vexes you. You know, because you see the danger coming. You know, the brothers are out there in the streets giving them warning, but the people not listening. Our people is not listening. So what can you do? You know, but continue doing the Lord's work, man. We're going to continue to go out there. You know, y'all are right desire every Saturday bring out this truth to warn our people. But eventually, <coughs> eventually it's going to happen because prophecy's got to be fulfilled. During the flood, everybody during Noah's time, ain't nobody cared. Everybody was enjoying themselves and just like they're doing today. And they didn't have no clue. You know, Noah was out. Matter of fact, Noah was out there warning and preaching for almost 90 years. Or, uh, you know, 90 something years. That's a long time. And nobody believed him. They ridiculed him. They laughed at him. But eventually the flood came and the Lord destroyed the planet. But well, this time he's bringing judgment with fire. And these people, not they're laughing, they ridicule, they think we're crazy. Esau, Edom was hit with his wicked devices. You could do all the evil you can do, but you cannot touch the anointed. You cannot touch the Lord's elect. And the Lord is going to destroy this place and save the elect. Yahweh right as I will. Me and my brothers that are sincere, man, sincere brothers in this truth, I pray daily for you. And I pray for myself, I pray for my family. Because evil is coming, man. Evil is coming. And like you see, these kids, man, they're in class, they're in school, they think everything's okay. You know, they want to become future lawyers or whatever. This is what they go to school for. This is their plan. This is their goals. Now, I'm not saying nothing wrong. 
and what you want to be, whatever you do, what you want to do. But we, we've been set up to be the prophets and to warn the people. And now we're coming to that to 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 the to the end of the book, the end of the chapter. You know, where these prophecies gonna be fulfilled, and people are gonna get caught up, man, just like Noah's time. Just like during Noah's time. They're going to get caught up. But I just wanted to say that because, you know, I just, that's on my mind, thinking out loud. And I'm, you know, seeing everybody coming back to school, you know, right down here at Rutgers University. They went back to school. They're going into their classes. They're happy. They're talking. You know, they have no idea that this place, Babylon the Great, will be destroyed. And also, the upcoming dangers of this place. Oh man, Shalom.